Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I always do in the beginning of every video, on the right hand side. Do I do the right hand side every time? Anyway. Hi. Hello. Hey there. I'm on Rod and welcome to whatever the hell this is. So you're probably wondering. <sighs> Let me do this like really good. Okay. You're probably wondering why is there no color? What's with the grayscale? I just wanted to try out something new. Give this video a like if you like it. That was such a good idea. And if you don't like it, then just tell me and I'll consider leaving it out or keeping it in. I was looking back on some of my old videos and I realized I did a top five vinyls as my third video and I haven't done one since. So I thought I'd do my summer collection of my top five vinyls that I bought in the summer. Let's get into the top five summer vinyls. Just, just texting me. Leave me alone. So the first one we're going to hit up is by Daughter. It is their one of their first EPs and it's called His Young Heart. It's got four really good tracks, three lyrical, one non-lyrical track called Switzerland. Man, I just love Switzerland. The song's really cool. It's probably one of my favourite songs and this is a really good to listen to over the summer. And while whilst I was reading 1984, I listened to this EP the whole time and now every time that I listen to this I just think of scenes in 1984. But anyway, it was just really good first stuff from Daughter back in 2011. The second one I'm hitting up is from my favourite artist Tom O'Dell. It's a live recording of him at KCRW. He did a couple of his own tracks and a couple Beatles tracks I think. I think two. If I'm wrong please don't kill me. <laughs> really good live recordings of his songs from his first album and they just sound really good live. I bought this I think on Amazon and I couldn't really find it anywhere else but besides their really good tracks to listen to again of his live recordings and they're just amazing to listen to. I love Tom Adele who's my favourite artist and uh, this was recorded all the way back in I think 2013 so like the year that his album came out. He's releasing a new album soon and it's really annoying because on his Facebook page he keeps posting stuff on his new album and like no one's seen it before and they're just all of a sudden coming up and I just want his new album to come out. Apparently one of the songs come out tomorrow, the 4th of April, so I'll leave a link in the description about his new tracks or anything like that in his Facebook page. If you're interested in Tom Adele, I know some of you are. Overall, good tracks to listen to. Now something that I've been waiting for for a long time is a second album from 1975 and it came I think in February, so almost the end of summer and here it is. It's called I Like It When You Sleep For You Are So Beautiful Yet So Unaware Of It. It's pretty much a link on from their last album, but it gets a lot more electronic and a lot more, just a lot different. The new album, it's quite good. Oh, look at the inside. So pretty. The first one came out in 2013. Oh, Jared, you're holding it backwards. It's a three-year wait on a second album. It's quite normal, but still. Yeah, that's better. Favorite track from this one would probably have to be Somebody Else. The next two are from the same artist. One's their first album, one's their, I think, third or fourth album. I only just got the two albums now. So I'll start off with their first album, and it's called Elephant Shell by Tokyo Police Club. Now, I love this band so much. They're probably one of my favorite bands now. They're just really good electronic alternative music, pretty much. And it's just really good to listen to with these guys, because they're so cool. So my favourite track from this one would probably have probably Listen to the Map, even though that sounds really weird. Experts they Listen to the Map. That's how it goes, but anyway. So that first album was from 2008 and this album, Force Field, is from 2014. So it's more recent, but it still has the same sort of vibes and it still has the same sort of electronic sound, really. It's all the same, but like it's different in a way because music progresses. It's, Time goes on and you can just see the progression in these guys album from this album to the last from their first album but my favorite album would actually have to be their second or third album I don't really know the order but it's their album Chant and it has such good songs on it and but I can't get a hold of the vinyl and it's really annoying me but the second album is probably the best for me but I can only get their first album and their latest album but they're still really good albums to listen to and I definitely recommend going out and maybe listening to one of their songs on YouTube and then if you like it download it and then it's cool but obviously you download it and pay for it because that's what we all do on the internet. We pay for music that we like to listen to. But that's just an update on my collection on what vinyls, my favorite vinyls from the summer. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't be afraid to like or subscribe. Today, oh, it got really bright. 
and I guess I'll be seeing you not tomorrow, but maybe sometime during the week. Yes! Show's over, pal. Let's get out of here.